Hey guys, I welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, we're going to talk about how not to get banned on Facebook advertisement. So in this video, I'll show you guys one of my ad account I used for promoting ClickBank affiliate offers. So this method pretty much works for anything you do. If you want to do Shopify or affiliate marketing or else traffic arbitrage, this method really works. Just make sure you watch this video till the end because I don't want you guys to miss out on all the tricks I follow to uh, keep the account live. So make sure you watch this video till the end and uh, let's dive in. So before I dive in, if you're someone who's totally new to this channel, make sure you leave a like and a comment on this video because I will be answering all your questions and do leave a like on this video guys because it can really help me grow on YouTube and do subscribe to my YouTube channel guys because this is a channel where we talk about affiliate marketing, Facebook advertisements, YouTube and pretty much everything. So let me show you guys one of my ad account I've been using to promote ClickBank affiliate offers. So you can see here this is one of my ad account and uh, you can clearly see I've been running some ads for like $2 and even for like one dollars so this is how i start when i create a new advertisement account on a business manager first i try to promote some ppe ads which is post engagement advertisements so what i do is i just go to google and search for some images like mostly quotes or else some recipes or else some uh, some normal images guys let me also show you guys how what are the type of images which really performs well on facebook initially so if you have a brand new ad account try to promote advertisements like these so you can see right you can run a page like campaign with images like this try to find some quotes images like this or else you can also find some uh, sceneries like this so you can see right quotes plus scenery so mostly images like this will get instantly approved and you don't have to spend a lot of money just try to promote it for like one dollar so once you've done that so it, it will automatically get completed and you can see right all this campaign got completed i haven't turned it off so uh, this only spent like one dollar each like one dollar two dollars so that's how we need to build up the approval history on our ad accounts so this method really really works you can see here i have like uh, 30 campaigns on uh, just uh, post engagements so before i start uh, conversion ads so you can see here, all these are some of my conversion ads so i've been promoting uh, clickback affiliate offers through this ad account so that's the reason you can see the like a uh, hundred dollars cost per purchase like $77 and uh, I've been promoting some high ticket product so you can see right so like uh, these uh, campaigns so I can't initially start with this campaign even you're going to promote your own products on Shopify or else you even you want to start doing traffic arbitrage start with this try to create three to five different uh, post engagement advertisement and let it run for 24 hours you don't have to give it a higher budget like five dollars or six dollars just stick with one dollar or two dollar so end of the day all we need is a lot of approved campaigns on our ad account so let me also show you guys the easier way to create these campaigns because you don't have to go to the ads manager to create these campaigns just go to your facebook page so for example purpose let me show you guys this uh, facebook page i have so you can see right this is a brand new facebook page when you publish a post on this page you will see an option called boost mostly it will be a blue button so just click that and try to promote your engagement ads or else like ads from here you don't have to go to the ads manager because so it might also trigger some facebook bots so they can also ban your ad account from that so don't go to the ads manager just go to the facebook page and try to boost it from here and try to let it run for two days and once it's got approved then you can go to the advertisement manager and what you need to do is just select all the campaigns you created from your page and just duplicate it so once it's spent five dollars just duplicate all those campaigns let's say you have five different campaigns uh, which is running right now after 24 hours just duplicate it so you'll be having like 10 different campaigns got approved on your account so from that point the overall ad spend will be around ten dollars at least try to increase the overall ad spend on your account to around thirty dollars or else to fifty dollars so if you're someone who's going to do affiliate marketing or shopify 30 to 50 dollars is really really uh, suggested or else if you're someone who's just going to build facebook pages and uh, just going to drive some uh, traffic campaigns then you don't need to spend uh, 30 to 50 dollars try to spend like at least 10 to 15 dollars initially to start creating your traffic campaign because when you have a good amount of campaigns which is already approved on your account then facebook will easily let you spend a lot of money so that's how the bots work on Facebook. So this is also very important guys. When you start a brand new Facebook page on your account, don't try to run advertisements on the same week because it won't get approved and the account will get banned. So what you need to do is try to publish at least 10 to 15 posts on your Facebook page or else try to schedule them because in Facebook you can easily schedule them. You don't need any external tool to schedule it. Just schedule it like two posts per day and it will automatically get published on the same time. 
So once you have this history on your Facebook page and also try to fill all those required informations on the Facebook page because it's very, very important. So once you've done that, after a week, you can start running these PP ads. And once it got approved, try to keep on running a like campaign on your ad account. Don't spend a lot of money, just let it run for $1 per day and you can automatically create new campaigns on conversions or else you can also create campaigns on traffic. So each business managers have like one ad account. So what you need to do is just start with this post engagement and just spend like $10. And once you spend $10, then you can create two more ad accounts and three more ad accounts on your business manager. So once you've done that, just follow the same exact steps on each ad account and season it for a week and start promoting ClickBank offers or Shopify offers, whatever you do. So this is the right way to do it. When you create a business manager, then Facebook will look at your ad account much more closer because the bots will uh, look for all the mistakes you do and try to restrict your advertisement access. So what you need to do is so make sure you follow this method and uh, keep running advertisements. So you will face bans and you will get restricted. But this method really, really works, guys. To a point, you can see uh, this account spent like 700 bucks and made a lot of sales on uh, ClickBank. And what you can do is just replicate this with multiple accounts and you can build up a good amount of accounts to run advertisements from. So it's all about the overall threshold on your ad accounts. So when you have a higher threshold, then your account has a lot of positive history and Facebook really trusts you. That's the reason you're having a higher threshold on your Facebook ad account. So that's why you need to create uh, those initial campaigns on post engagement or like campaigns because it will increase the budget and the, so the threshold goes up every time your card is getting built. So this is how you need to build the trust with Facebook ad account. So you can start spending a lot of money at the same time. You can also create a lot of campaigns at the same time. So the higher the threshold, the more trust you have on Facebook. So pretty much that's it, guys. So this is the exact way we do it. And we run advertisements to ClickBank or Shopify. So this is how big Facebook advertisers also do it. You can also follow this method. If something is working for you, do share them in the comments below because I really, really appreciate that. And pretty much that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video and see you guys in the next video.